Hello cookbook friends, welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. I am Katie. We are actually going to revisit this cookbook, Baked to Perfection. This is by Katarina Sermelj. I only say this because she is gaining lots of traction again over on TikTok. She has this whole lemon thing and maybe you are familiar with it. And that's how I ran into her again. I didn't have the opportunity to pick this uh, cookbook up before, and I finally did. I was like, I'm convinced. Every recipe she's put out on TikTok, I've been trying to recreate myself, and it's just better to have the book. I'm like, just get the book. So I wanna say, if you are on the lemon train, there isn't all of the lemon recipes in here, but this is a great cookbook for gluten-free people. Um, it is, and on her TikTok as well, you will probably know that she does a lot of vegan substitutes as well. Like a lot of her stuff is gluten-free and vegan. I think in this cookbook though, it's not quite that way. And that's again, why I wanna go through this with you because I don't feel like we went through this in detail enough last time. So, we have cakes, cupcakes, muffins, brownies, cookies, bars, pies, tarts, bread, breakfast, tea time treats, and around the world. So, this is all very basic stuff that we get. How to cook cakes, how to cook gluten-free, the different kinds of flours that are required for gluten-free baking, and I will check, keep an eye out for potential vegan so she goes on about flavors, textures, different hacks that she uses, um, and explains what gluten is. She's a very sciencey person. We have charts. I highly recommend just reading through this whole entire front chapter, and then you'll get a basic understanding, honestly, of the science of gluten-free baking and baking. Why is gluten so important in baking? And there's so many people who can't have it. Uh, and how do we recreate the same texture and feeling and all of that stuff with gluten-free when we can't have gluten? So here she talks more about different substitutions. So gluten-free flour substitutions and what they actually do. Pantry staples she goes into as well. Let me just check to see if she talks about milk. She talks about butter but I do not see anything about like margarine. So this one, again, I don't think emphasizes her vegan baking, but she does talk a lot about that in her TikTok and all of that is in the description down below. So as you can tell, the very front chapter, the introduction, all of it is basic essential stuff, including like just basic cake making, etc. So let's look at some photos. How generous. She gives us a full photo of the cake and the step-by-step -step process for it, which is excellent. Something I've actually run into with cakes in particular, which is silly, and it's usually like a white or yellow cake. Chocolate cake is great, but when I make it from scratch, it ends up being a hot mess. So I'm excited to try some of these. This is a lemon drizzle cake, simple, perfect for tea time. These are uh, lemon raspberry squares. Oh, this is an excellent uh, roll, Swiss roll recipe. Trying to roll anything uh, gluten-free, if you, know, you haven't done that before, it can be such a pain. Either it's super sticky and you can't get it to roll or it crumbles apart. So learning how to actually have a malleable dough that tastes good and isn't crumbly or is, you know, baked all the way through is excellent. Cupcakes and muffins. This chapter I will be in forever. I love cupcakes and muffins. They're perfect. So here we have even more detail about the cooking process for cu cupcakes and muffins. Then we go on to the actual recipes. So here's a breakdown of what her recipes kind of look like. I know there's a lot here, but you can see we have our time, prep time, etc., our ingredients, directions over here. And I think in the very top, you can see just kind of her story, where she got this recipe from, um, what she believe, you know, the flavors to expect. It's pretty nice. So here is a peanut butter chocolate cupcake. Yum. 
moving forward. Oh, look at those. We even get little filling. Okay, let's move on to something else. We have brownies and bars. Oh, these are muffins. Still haven't moved on, I guess. Here we go. No, we're still in muffins. We even have some savory treats here, which is very cool. Okay, I promise. Here's bars. This is shiny top brownies. We also have crackly top brownies, which require different kind of baking things. White chocolate brownies. I'm, I have a guilty pleasure, and white chocolate is one of those, and I know it's not real chocolate, but I don't care. I love it. It is very good. Okay, we also have, ooh, a caramel chocolate brownie. That looks amazing. Cookies and bars. What? Why wasn't that previous one in bars? Extra information at the very front of each chapter about the things you will be baking. These are no fuss. No chill, no spread, one bowl, sugar cookies. Look at how perfect that looks. It's sus, right? I'm so excited to try these. This is a peanut butter and jam thumbprint cookies. I miss these. Uh, tahini cookies, this is a classic as well. Peanut butter sandwich cookies, that's cute. Chocolate crinkle cookies. This is going to be a lifesaver during Christmas. If you are somebody that loves to bake cookies for people, um, there's a lot of really awesome recipes. And you can see there was a recipe in here for rosemary crackers. Speaking of Christmas, gingerbread cookies. Okay, so we have a blueberry pie crumble. We have pies and crumbles in here, pies, pastries even. And extra detail about that. I don't know if you've made a gluten-free pie before, but it can be a little crazy. Step-by-step -step process for a um, just a butter pie flaky crust. Rough puff pastry, which is phenomenal. I mean, that's hard. That would be an all-day kind of event, I feel like. This is a plain, sweet, short crust pastry. I'm glad it says on the very top how long this would take. Actually, let me see what the rough puff is. That one's, what? It's only 30 minutes. I lied. It's not all day. Okay, one more. Chocolate sweet short crust pastry. A lot of these are only like 15 minutes. That's crazy. Here's some end results of these pies. The lattice work is beautiful. Lemon meringue pie. Oh, this has a chill time of four hours. That doesn't, that doesn't count. We have a caramelized onion and broccoli quiche. That's a fun brunch option. Tw uh, cheese twists. We'll go a little further. I know I'm going a little slow, but that's kind of the point of this video because I think this cookbook deserves a lot more detail because it is so detailed. There's a lot of facts in here about gluten-free baking. And if you are somebody that's just really determined to make it right and you love baking, maybe you just were diagnosed with celiac, and you miss things like bread, this cookbook will be a lifesaver. Rosemary focaccia. What? Is that a donut I see in my future? Yes. Oh, donuts. Deep frying them and baking different versions. Breakfast and tea time treats. Extra flaky scones. This is a perfect shoe pastry. That's crazy. That's crazy. Coffee cream puffs? Oh man. That looks phenomenal, right? Okay, I'll go a little further here. We have opera cakes. So very detailed stuff. Milfoil. Wow. Uh, this one is a mixed berry cobbler. I think this might be international dishes. But I'm not sure. I guess it is because this is a German dish. This is a lamington. This is from Australia. And here's our conversion tables. So I hope this was a better preview of this cookbook. Um, I know that my previous one did a fairly good job. But I think knowing and learning more about Katerina is really important. She's kind of up and coming. Maybe you're really curious about gluten-free baking. This does not have, I did not see, I was trying to keep an eye on it. I didn't see any vegan substitutes in here. So if you are vegan or dairy-free, 
um, this will not have those for you, but I bet there's going to be some one on like one to one for that. And again, check out her TikTok. It is down below. I recommend it. It's beautiful to watch anyway. Very relaxing. So anyway, this is Baked per to Perfection, a gluten-free baking book. This is by Katarina Sermelge. And if you are looking for other baking books, including vegan, gluten-free, etc., uh, check out our baking playlist. We have a lot of cool baking cookbooks. If you just like cookbooks in general, you should join us on our socials. All of that is down in the description down below uh, at Cookbook Divas. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.